everybody and welcome back to my channel it's me Imogen Bailey here so today's video is basically another panto vlog so I've got a lot of content to get through and I don't want this video to be too long so I'm just gonna head straight in and get on with the video anyway on to another very stagey vlog also I completely <laughs> forgot to mention that it is actually Chester's birthday um it's his first ever birthday and there are his presents so update guys, he's actually already eaten one tennis ball and he's now eating his squirrel. No, you've eaten a foot. You've eaten a squirrel foot, what are you doing? Um, so basically I've got one show later, um, but today we find out whether we're going to move to tier three. Um, at the moment, I won't lie, it's looking very likely that we will be in tier three. And if that's the case, then that means the pantomime has to shut. Um, so today I'm very, very on edge. It's just one of these things, isn't it? It's going to be absolutely awful. I'm having the best time. Honestly, I'm having such a good time here doing panto. Um, so I will be heartbroken if that's the case and we do get put into tier three. So I just wanted to update you all. Um, Boris has done his announcement and we are tier three. Um, Portsmouth, Gosport, haven't. I live in Hailing Island, which technically comes under haven't. Um, and I work in Portsmouth. So I am screwed basically, which obviously means then we've got one show today and we have got two shows tomorrow. And then I guess we close. Um, I've had my cry, I'm going to cry lots more, I'm sure you guys will probably end up seeing it at some point, um, I'm just, I feel sick, like I just can't believe this has happened, I think, because it's such a good show, it's honestly such a good show and it's such a shame, and just for the entire cast and the Kings have been so good at keeping it together, oh I'm going to cry again, <laughs> there's not much I can do about it really, that's the rules and that's the rules and I'm going to stick to it but it's just absolutely heartbreaking. I don't know what to say. I, I mean, I'm, I'm shocked. I shouldn't be. Like, you know, this year we've had, I shouldn't be shocked at this news, but I really am and I'm absolutely devastated. So to cheer me up, my family have taken me to Northley Farm, which is like a little lunch place on Hailing Island. It is an actual farm, but they have a really, really nice cafe here as well. So I've just come back from lunch and basically I'm going to head to the theatre now. We've got a meeting at four o'clock to discuss. Well, I don't really know what we're going to discuss really because it's been announced. Obviously, we're having to shut, um, which is, oh, it's going to be devastating. Lots of tears. But I think we still do have one show this evening again. And hopefully they might even add an extra show in tomorrow. I'm sorry that I'm not going to be able to film loads more of this panto vlog I'm, I'm absolutely gutted um but i'm gonna again like i said try and film so much today just for memories really as well because god this cast is so so talented and i've made some real good friends for life it's gonna be very very sad today and tomorrow but we're gonna get through guys so any support from you lot is so much appreciated right now So good news is that they have added another show in tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Um, so I've just been to box office to grab some tickets for my two amazing dance teachers that had booked for next week. So obviously they couldn't watch, but luckily they've had another show, so now they can. We've done physical and we've done vocal warm up. I'm now got my mic on and I am in my act one beginner's workers dress. Uh, we just had our half an hour call. Uh, so oh, I've got family in tonight as well. They've booked last minute to come watch me for one last time. Uh, we obviously do have three shows tomorrow still, but they were, <laughs> they sold out within a click. Like, honestly, it's crazy. They're all gonna be sold out performances. Um, so hopefully it's gonna be a great audience and I'm just excited to get back on stage and make the most of this show. So I've just gone back from the theatre, I've just done a show this evening which went very, very well. It was an emotional one, I won't lie, I did cry at the finale, but that was bound to happen and I'm sure I'm gonna cry in all the finales tomorrow as well. But I am going to vlog my entire day for you tomorrow and I'm gonna do it in all one big video for you. So yeah, stay tuned guys, cause you'll see 
lots more footage. And also we have got three shows tomorrow. So you're gonna join me on a three show day. Let's see how that turns out. <laughs> It's still only about just turned seven o'clock, so I'm pretty pleased. I've just done my makeup in half an hour, smashed it. Like that bit's not, it's not staying in. I'm, t I'm too tired for that this morning. Um, but yeah, I look like a mess, but here we go for my day. <laughs> so I've just taken my pink eyes out and they are very, very curly this morning, but they always do drop. <laughs> Look how short my hair is. It's literally normally down to here. Just stuck my false lashes on, which hopefully, fingers crossed, should last all day. Good morning, everyone. I'm now ready. I'm changed. Alexa, stop. Like I've only had two hours sleep, I think, max. Like I'm not, I've not slept <laughs> because I was just on my mind and it was sort of, when I was lying there last night, it hit me. It was like, tomorrow is my last day but I'm hoping that once I'm there and I know I've got some amazing people coming to see the shows today, so that will really, really boost my energy. And you know, I've just got to enjoy every last minute being back on stage. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking and take you to the theater with me. Look how empty the dressing room looks. This is literally on my, my pile for today, food, Moisturiser, hair clips and deodorant. All the essentials, right? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna miss this theatre so much. Hello, Fred. So, it's the last warm-up on stage. I've got a three-show day. Um, Oh, I'm gonna miss this view so much. So just done physical warm up and we're about to start our vocal warm up. Um, but before I, we start that, I just wanted to show you some of the side of stage because some of the props and set are amazing. We actually have my house. Well, actually, it's a house. It might be mine. I don't know. Sweets. And that's my quick changes set on this side. Ah. This is the dancers' vocal warm up. <laughs> So we're all ready, we've just had five minute call. Cool. Um, first show, I've got my dance teachers in and my mum and my auntie, so got to do a very good performance for this one. So we are currently halfway through act one, um, about to go on for another scene, then I've got uh, three very, very quick changes in a row. So I won't be able to probably get back on here until the interval, but yeah, just to keep you all updated and how the show's going, it's going very well. This was our last minute performance. We literally only knew about it, not even 24 hours ago. So it's not a massive audience, but they're amazing. And I've got people in who are cheering for me. So it's all going really well. Thank you. 
just started act two, I'm in my rags. In my rags, been washed up on the shores of Morocco. Today I'm eating Haribo. Don't worry, these have been like a few shows. I've not just demolished them all this morning. I'm tired, <laughs> so I need some energy, but right, I'll speak to you guys later. snacking on the jelly babies. In need of sugar for this next act because I'm extremely tired. But I've got some friends in and they are absolutely loving the show, which is so good. So about to go on for the finale and walk down of show two of the day. We're going to be live streaming the show, which is incredible. And you can buy it for 25 quid, bargain, have it for a week. And obviously as many people as you can, can well, that's it, come around and watch it. But depending on what tier you are, don't mix households. So I'm now gonna go around, knock on the cast's doors and try and get some pictures of people for memories. Cause I'll be really upset at myself if I don't get pictures. Cause I really want to make a scrapbook of like my journey through Panto and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna go get some pictures now. We've had at one beginner's call, should be there. I'm just downing some water before I go. Um, yeah, wish me luck, guys. Yeah, last show. God, it's going to be an emotional one. So I've done two songs now. I'm about to go on and do Edge of Glory. Don't know why the lights have gone off, but they have. But um, bad quality. Anyway, so just finished Edge of Glory. <laughs> Nearly cried in my duet, but, you know, I held it together, guys, and that is what matters. Yeah. <laughs> Setting. I'm really excited though because I know that the crowd has been amazing so we're going to get a great you know applause and they're all going to be really supportive which is going to be really nice but this is not going to be easy I'll film after when I'm going to be in floods of tears and also I'll show you a little bit of what's going on stage now so we're side of stage the show's going on here here we go, on side of stage. And we're getting ready for the finale where I'm going to cry. So yeah, this is the aftermath <laughs> of the finale because I'm an emotional wreck and I cry at absolutely everything. But how long do you reckon that standing ovation was today? Three minutes. Yeah, absolutely mental, but yeah. Ugh. So yeah, that kind of concludes my video. Sorry, I didn't really get to film any more than that. I hope you guys understand, hence why I've not posted this video really, really shortly after, because it has taken me a couple of days to kind of get over it and obviously edit it all together. It's been really hard seeing the video and it's just, I'm just gutted for not only us, but every panto and every show that's had to shut again. It's just heartbreaking to see what it's done to our industry. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed my video and I'm obviously going to be filming a vlog over Christmas with some of the stuff I get and sort of just like Christmas in the Bailey household. So stay tuned for that because that will be coming very shortly. Um, and I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas if I don't see you all before. Just guys, enjoy yourself. I know it's not the Christmas anyone wanted this year. I'm obviously in tier four, so I can't see anyone other than my household, which is a shame because we had our nanny and granddad coming round. Um, so they're having to spend it alone now, which is really, really sad, um, but just make the most of it. Spend time with the family that you're with and just have a great day. I'm going to head off now and I will see you all back for my next video. Bye.